Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Measures of Central Tendency, this chapter we have completed. In this chapter we have learned 5 topics. Arithmetic mean, mean, arithmetic mean, median, mode, geometric mean and harmonic mean. All these 5 together I will give you all the formulas in individual, discrete and continuous series and it will be recap of the entire chapter also. If you follow this, chapter is finished, you are perfect. Now and anyway, let us discuss about the pro formulas of each and every topic, mean, median, mode, geometric mean, harmonic mean. So I have prepared this table specially for you all, mean, median, mode, geometric mean, harmonic mean, 5 topics, individual series, discrete series, continuous series. Very easy to remember, mean, what is the formula of mean in individual series? say along with me it will be easy for you to remember x bar is equal to sigma x by n individual series only x is given that total sigma means total sigma x by n so this is individual when it comes to discrete series sigma f x by n sigma x only but only the thing is we are adding here frequency multiplying x with frequency sigma f x by n when it comes to continuous series fx is changed into fm, sigma fm by n, m represents the middle value of the class interval. In discrete series direct x you can use it, but in continuous series x you cannot use it. We are taking mid value which represents the x that is class interval. So that is why the formula changes into sigma fm by n. Now let us see about median. In median individual series formula is uh, m is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2th item. Always remember median calculation whether individual series or discrete series both the sides first thing you have to prepare is cumulative frequency CF. CF you prepare then after that apply this formula size of n plus 1 by 2th item. Same formula even in discrete series also. First what do you do? Cumulative frequency you will prepare. Then after that applying the formula, median is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2th item. When it comes to the continuous series, two formulas are there. First one is size of n by 2th item. Here n plus 1, n plus 1. Here only n by 2th item, no plus 1 in continuous series. This is the first formula. Second formula is here L plus n by 2 minus cumulative frequency by frequency into i. Okay? L plus n by 2 minus CF by F into I. So, these are the two formulas in continuous series median. If you understand median, you can go for even deciles, percentiles also in the same fashion. Quartiles, deciles, percentiles, same fashion. Okay? Now, when it comes to mode, mode individual series, we do not have any formula. How do you find out mode? Most frequently occurring number is mode in individual series. There is nothing is there. Which number is frequently occurring? Which one number is most of the time repeating? That is mode in individual series. When it comes to discrete series, same thing you can apply. Most frequently occurring number, same method. But in frequency, sometimes when you find highest frequency, and next highest is nearer to the highest frequency, then you better to prepare grouping and analysis table. Through grouping analysis table, we can decide exactly where is the, what is the mode, most frequently occurring number according to the grouping analysis table. Hope you remembered it, right? So generally you can go for this only, whenever you find frequency, highest frequency, next highest, next highest both are nearer then you better to prepare grouping analysis table in discrete series through this you can find out most frequently repeating number okay now when it comes to the continuous series continuous series always remember grouping analysis table is required in the same way like frequ highest frequency number is something and next to highest also very much nearer to that then only you better to prepare the grouping analysis table Otherwise, you can just simply write one sentence. 
by inspection mode lies in so and so class interval because highest frequency number is something next highest is very much low which is not nearer to the highest number in such cases you can write one sentence by inspection mode lies in so and so class interval and directly you can apply this formula z z means mode z is equal to l plus d1 by d1 plus d2 into i we have already done sometimes frequency highest frequency is suppose say 40 next highest frequency is 38 doubtful na by inspection you cannot go in such cases you have to prepare grouping analysis table through grouping analysis table highest number you will get it so what is highest according to that you can say group lies in uh, I mean by inspection or by grouping analysis table mode lies in so and so class interval and apply this formula and sometimes through grouping analysis table grouping analysis table mode is undefined we cannot define it two numbers got highest two class interval got highest in such cases that is called as bimodal method whenever you find bimodal method bimodal means through grouping analysis table when you cannot define the mode that is bimodal method in bimodal method formula is z is equal to z means mode z is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean okay you need to remember this then after that geometric mean very easy geometric mean formulas individual series anti log of geometric mean gm is equal to anti log of sigma log x by n first what we have to do log x we have to find out divided by n and whatever answer you get to that you have to see the anti log we have done already okay formula just remember anti log of sigma log x by n when it comes to discrete series anti log of sigma f into log x frequency you got na here in discrete series so same log x only only the thing is we are multiplying with frequency f into log x by n if you remember this automatically discrete continuous series are easy in the same way continuous series geometric mean is equal to anti log of sigma f into log m here log x x means x values whatever is given now here x we cannot take so we are taking the mid value we will calculate the mid value okay so to that mid value we will take the log m and then after that frequency into log m table you have to prepare okay so that is why formula comes to instead of x we are writing here m sigma f into log m by n am i clear next harmonic mean harmonic mean also very easy reciprocals mainly we are reversing the arithmetic mean and which is dividing by 1 by x okay so harmonic mean individual series is n by sigma 1 by x n by sigma 1 by x discrete series harmonic mean is equal to n by sigma f into 1 by x frequency we got it here also we have done frequency into log x here also frequency into 1 by x okay frequency into 1 by x continuous series n by sigma f into 1 by m here x which turns into m m means mid value which represents the x here also we have done the same thing x is turned into m here also x turned into m that's all easy to remember right so mainly what you have to do is you have to focus on the individual series if you understand individual series most of the time discrete series which follows by the individual series able to remember want to take screenshot yes you can take In the coming class, next we will see the next chapter. So be thorough. In this chapter, five topics: arithmetic mean, median, mode, geometric mean, harmonic mean. Detailly, I have explained everything. And just go ahead and prepare well, practice well, and by heart these formulas. You must remember very well. Nothing is there. Statistics is not so tough. It's very easy subject and you can score 100% yes trust me and practice well check out the playlist whatever you have in your syllabus follow it and don't forget to share this videos share with everyone so that this free of cost the struggle and uh, the time I am taking for you all 
let me to utilize it to the maximum students. This is my motto. Please share it. Practice well. Have a bright career. Good luck.